What's going on gardeners? On today's two minute garden tip, I'm going to show you how you can extend your growing season for up to two months, maybe even longer, and it's so easy. Normally where I live, we don't see our first frost, which officially ends our growing season until the second week of November, but it's only October 19th and we already saw our first frost, which is near record breaking, and we're not the only ones. There were freeze warnings in Atlanta, Georgia, Jackson, Mississippi, Charlotte, North Carolina, even hard freezes forecast in Huntsville, Alabama. Here in the South, we're not used to seeing our growing season end so early. The official definition of a growing season is the duration of time between your last frost in your spring and the first frost in your fall. However, we don't necessarily have to play by those rules. Because your first frost or freeze event is usually very mild and barely scratches the freezing mark, all you generally have to do is cover up your cold sensitive plants with frost blankets or tarps. As you can see, I have frost blankets strategically planted on top of my most cold sensitive vegetables scattered all about my garden, like my tomatoes and my peppers, because they are my most frost vulnerable plants. Doing this, you can extend your growing season easily up to two months on most average years. I know it may seem like a little bit of a pain to cover up things, but remember, your first fall frost and your last spring frost are usually very brief events that only last a night or two, and they're either preceded or they're followed by periods of very warm temperatures where it won't frost or freeze for weeks to come. So if you just put in the legwork and this little bit of effort to cover up on those one or two events, you can be rewarded with many weeks on either side of the growing season where you could grow your warm weather crops. And that looks like exactly what's going to happen. As soon as we get through this mild frost event, I'm going to be rewarded with weeks of summer-like temperatures where my warm weather crops are going to rebound and flourish. And if I'm fortunate enough that we have a mild November and I'm willing to put forth this effort again, there's a chance that I could grow warm weather crops where I live all the way to Thanksgiving, maybe even longer if we get a good growing season. Because I took the time to cover my cold sensitive plants, everything sailed through the frost events with no damage. And now it's going to be warm for the foreseeable future with summer like temperatures. So because I put in that little bit of hard work, I'm going to be rewarded by extending my warm weather harvests deep into November. So for that reason, I strongly recommend you stock yourself a few tarps or you pick up one of these frost blankets that I have linked in my Amazon storefront in the video description under plant freeze protection. And that's today's two minute garden tip. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell to receive new video notifications and check out our Amazon storefront and spread shop in the video description for a list of the gardening products I use and awesome custom designed apparel and other gear. Your support is greatly appreciated.